Hi, ever since I saw this, I wanted to make something like it. Let's take a look. Today we're talking about water illusions. I'm going to be showing you about refraction and how to make instant ice. All that and more coming right up. Well, the time has come. Except, no visual effects. I want to do this practically. So, let's make it happen. As with any good illusion, the magic happens away from the view, so I need to hide mine too. I've got some plywood, several square dowels for support, and wood glue. Let's make a box so I can hide the trick. The idea is to place a glass on this box as if on a pedestal and pour the drink into it. One little problem though. I don't really have a glass for this. Let's go hunt. Right, I've got a glass and a special drill bit. I'm going to drill a couple of holes in the bottom. But why? I don't want to spoil the trick just yet. You'll just have to keep watching. The instructions on the bit say that water cooling should not be used and I should not exceed 400 RPM to extend the life of the bit. So I will follow. But drilling glass is no joke. It's so slow. Finally, after what seems like an eternity, I get through. But I still need one more. And just as I was punching through, a disaster. I was too impatient and held my entire body over the drill, which cost me. Take two. I kid you not, it took me just under 4 hours to make these two holes. Never again. With the glass ready, I need to make a couple of matching holes on the top of my box. And two others on the side. Can you guess why? It'll become clear soon enough. A little bit of sanding and we can move on to painting. But it's getting late, so why don't we just skip ahead to tomorrow? That's better. Again, I want the magic to happen out of sight, so I will paint the box black to conceal it. I don't paint that often, but uh, I'm sure I can make this work. Oops, it looked much better in my head. I must not be trying hard enough. Let's do that again. Perfect. Next piece of the puzzle is this clear acrylic tube. Before I use it though, I will need to use my heat gun and bend it to a correct angle. Again, be patient and you'll see why. I'm trying to push this rubber tube through. It will help make sure that the internal diameter is retained at the bend. Without it, the tube would just pinch off at the bend. Note that I'm applying cooking oil. It helps to slide the hose in and later out. I set my hot air gun to 300 degrees C which means that the acrylic will soften really quickly. I just need to make sure that I heat it evenly on all sides. And that is it. That's exactly what I needed on this side. And I made one more bend to the other end. I'm also adding a larger diameter tube with a diagonal cut here. It will provide more surface area for the glue to stick to. As you can see, I'm gluing it inside of an empty can in a very specific way. And while the glue is setting, 
I think it's a good moment to explain what I am doing. As I'm getting a sense that it's either blatantly obvious or really confusing. So here goes. The trick is that the liquid is going to be sucked through the bottom of the glass and delivered back up to the can to create an illusion of perpetual motion. Simple? Simple enough. The only worry is whether the stream will be able to hide the tube coming up the can. In the meanwhile, the bond seems to be strong enough to hold the can up. So it comes to no surprise that I'm using a water pump. It will take the fluid through the side and eject it through the top. The pump runs off 12 volts and comes with a power connector. What it lacks though is a switch. So let's add one. And... Done. So here's everything. The pump. Two flexible adapters which I formed in the shape using my heat gun. The can, the box and the glass, of course. Let's put it all together. The switch on the pump can be fitted to the rectangular hole I made earlier. The other side hole is reserved for the power connector. Both of the flexible adapters go on the pump, but it will be easier to put one of them on just now, while the other is fitted with a small section of acrylic tube. And that is slid through one of the holes in the box. And the glass. The can attachment can now fit through the second hole. And I like how it's coming together. Some more super glue. Not only will it hold the glass in place, it will seal the gaps between the glass and acrylic. Finally, let's get the pump fitted in the box. The box is hollow, so it makes me worried that it will amplify the noise from the pump. But stay here, I've got an idea. The stuffing should dampen the noise. With that in place, I can screw the lid on and test it out. Just what I needed. And if you want to see more things like this, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. But before you run away, let me show you a real magic trick. Physics is awesome.